Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another new lawn. This is a new client that I just picked up. Uh, this is going to be its second cut since uh, the sod's been laid down, I believe, I think. Um, still has got the white fence up, kind of nice. Have to be really careful. It looks like we're gonna go underneath it. And my customer's calling me now. I think he saw me on the uh, cameras. All right, sorry about that. Uh, so it's a little backyard. It's got a big area here, but I want to show you guys this fence. This is something this is a brand new fence on a brand new property with a brand new house the first time homeowner and I know he's gonna be nervous about me marking up his brand new white fence So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edge it with the weed eater so We're gonna come in we're gonna cut a V and then when we weed eat back We're gonna weed eat back very low power with 80 uh, thousandths thin line and we're just gonna clean up that fence line without whipping the hell out of it Guys, with these vinyl fences, you can destroy them instantly. So you have to go slow. That also means you have to charge accordingly. When you see stuff like this in a property, this is a lot of time. Normal property, you just edge and mow. But this, we have to edge and we have to weed eat. And we gotta go on the other side and weed eat. So things like that when you're running your business, something to think of, okay? Um, we'll, we'll edge up that back slab. He's got some uh, planters that go all the way around his house with pine straw. He hates the pine straw, but for now, it's, it's fine. We're going to edge up those planters. This will be a house that we're going to pressure wash at some point, uh, but not anytime soon. Probably next year, next winter, uh, going into spring, whatever. Uh, but this is going to be a nice little job. So first thing we're going to do is uh, we'll go ahead and edge it up first. And then, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and jump on the weed eater. And then we'll blow it in nice and clean. And then we're going to cut this at two and a half inches uh, because it's really new and it's got all of this new growth. And if I cut it at three inches, it's going to look shabby. And he's got small dogs. So we're going to cut it to a nice length. And by the end of summer, we should have a nice thick three inch lawn. I'm going to end up hitting this with the weed eater on the edges as well because the guys, the, um, the builders, that whoever they hired, suck. Suck. They didn't edge for shit. Story time. You guys want a story? Let me give you guys a story in the middle of edging. So me and this guy, we go back a couple years now. I'm not going to tell you his name or how I know him, but me and him go back a couple years now. He's, he's uh, uh, recently married, like I said, first house, and um, we grew kind of kind of close pretty quick, like to be good friends, you know? If he needs anything, he can call me and he knows that. Uh, and, I, and if I need anything, I can call him. Well, I got a phone call one night, I don't know, four months ago, five months ago maybe and and it, it was him and he's like Dan I was like hey what's up dude and he's like hey man uh, I just just I just got some news I want to share with you and I was like okay what's up and uh, I could tell I was on speakerphone I can hear other people and he says uh, but he didn't tell me he was on speakerphone yet 
He's like, hey, uh, I'm here with my wife and uh, I just wanted to let you know she's pregnant. And, and, I, and I went, oh my God, does your wife know? <laughs> and he, he's like, Dan, come on, man. She's sitting right here. She's pregnant. And I was like, oh, who's the dad? <laughs> I wouldn't stop. I wouldn't let it up. I kept going and going. And that's the relationship we have. It's just fun, you know? So All right, I'm gonna come on back to you guys. Nice and easy. a little bit of a push. And then go with the blower and blow it off. Be aware, if you're doing this and the grass is wet, you're going to have wet grass sticking to that white vinyl. All right, so you need to be very careful, especially when you're dealing with, you know, somebody who just bought their first home. You're the first person doing all this. You can't get away with damaging this crap or leaving it looking like crap because it's your head, man. So take your time, nice and easy and get it done. It is brutally hot out here. Holy crap. We gotta go through my Fitbit. I have a Fitbit. This thing's amazing. I'm gonna show you guys how this thing works in an upcoming video. Nowhere to, for shade for you guys. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set you up. I'm just gonna run until I move the camera and turn you guys back on because it is sunny and hot.
kind of looks good from a distance, doesn't it? That look really nice. So when they come home, they step on their porch or whatever. They got they got a nice looking fence. It's nice and clean. Grass is green, and there's no damage, as you'll see later when we blow off. Nice having a shoot blocker because if I had to side shoot the normal side shoot, even with the shoot down in such a tight area, I would have put grass all over his new vinyl or the neighbor's new vinyl. So that shoot blocker really does come in handy to be able to do things like that. But let me show you what I've been dealing with here. See how this stuff is like a straw? So like a lot of people say, hey, how come you're, why are you cutting in circles? I'm not really cutting in circles, but even with the side shoot, the mulch plate on, if you go back and forth, you're still gonna be leaving straws. So by continuing to bring it into the center, it's continuing to cut it smaller, 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 smaller. Until the last few passes, you saw I put the chute down, I mulched it up, then I opened the chute and I blew it away to a fine powder. Had I not done that, this would be sitting on top of the grass um, because this is what came out of right here. So I wanted to make sure that we mulched it up really to a fine powder so it doesn't get all over his little dogs. Take a look at this fence. Take a look at the property. We're all done. Fence is clean. Looks good. Spider web. No massive marks. Sometimes you leave a little in the corners, man. Sometimes you just have to. You don't want to beat the fence up. See, like a little bit right there. You can get in there and hand pick it out if you want. That looks good. That looks really good. Nice and clean. Edges are clean, everything looks good. Backyard looks good. Side yard's edged up nice. I think it looks good. I think it looks real good. All right guys, I'm done with this yard. It'll be a happy customer. I'll see you guys on the next one. Tell me about the whistle. Oh, this is...